Kate Nicola Askham here back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's video, I want to answer a question that was emailed in to me, which is how do we manage data as an asset? Now, I thought that was a really good question and perhaps one that I have been asked many times at my clients. And I thought it was worthy of answering on one of these videos. So, the person who sent this in was probably thinking, well, it's all very well. Um, perhaps they came along to one of my masterclasses where I say it's really important uh, that everybody in our organizations views data as an asset and manage it, it as such. Um, but yeah, it's very easy to make that kind of comment, but not actually explain what you mean by it. So what do we mean by managing data as an asset? Well, the best way I can get you to think about it is by... It, comparing it to another asset. So I think it's fair to say that, you know, every organization that I've worked with over the years has some kind of building, whether it's offices or factories or warehouses, but they have some kind of physical building. Now, if you ask anybody in your organization, are the buildings that belong to your organization an asset? And they will agree with you. I have never had anybody disagree when I ask them that question. And because everybody knows that your buildings are an asset, they go out of their way to manage them. So you'll have a team whose responsibility it is to look after that building. And that might be facilities or maintenance or estates, whatever you want to call yours. But this team doesn't wait for ceiling tiles to fall down or holes to appear in office walls. They go round regularly and monitor and check. They come and test the fire alarms. They come and check the sprinkler system. Nothing is left to chance. Yes, things do occasionally go wrong, but we're always monitoring and looking out for them. Now, we don't do this with our data in the vast majority of time. Now, of course, that is changing and people are getting used to the idea that data is an asset. But what we need to do is to get people to have that same kind of mentality about their data. And before organizations start doing data governance, they are often the equivalent of a hole appearing in your office wall. And somebody goes, ah, that's not good. But tell you what, let's just stick a poster or move a picture to put on top of it. Um, and then perhaps it'll be all right. It's like having a, a sticking plaster approach to what we do if we find something's wrong with our data. Now, that is not viewing your data as an asset. That is um, not being proactive in managing it. So we need to take the same approach that we do with our buildings. So we need to have some people who are responsible for um, coordinating and, and sorting out all the activities around our data. Um, and this is obviously uh, the data governance team, but we need to start understanding uh, what our data is. So clearly, you know, if you own multiple offices and buildings, somebody somewhere in your organization has a list of those. So clearly we need to have the same with our data. We need to understand what data we have where. And in the same way, we need to understand, are there cracks in the ceiling? Does the sprinkler system not work somewhere? We need to be monitoring our most important data and understanding, is it good enough quality to use? Is there something wrong with it? Does it need fixing? So I hope that has helped you understand what I mean by um, managing data as an asset. It's all about being much more proactive and realizing that this is a valuable commodity that we need to understand and look after. And if you could help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance, I'd be really grateful. There's loads of people just starting out in data governance. And as everybody who's started it knows, it can be a real minefield and really confusing. So if you have found this video useful, please like, comment and share on your choice of social media to get the message out there to people who need help. Thank you. And I'll see you again soon.